Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. I'm going to do a video for you guys today that really isn't going to be preparedness related, so I wanted you to uh, know that ahead of time. Um, but what it is going to be about is some of the old time uh, folklore and folk customs that I witnessed in the area that I live in here when I was uh, growing up. And it's on uh, two particular topics. One is uh, water dowsing and the other is uh, the blood verse. Now, uh, both of these things, I have been told, were uh, Germanic in origin. And since the area that I live in was uh, settled by uh, uh, German immigrants in the early to uh, mid-1800s, I guess it would make sense that some of these old folk customs were uh, brought along with them. Like I said, I've never uh, really looked it up to see how uh, valid that those uh, claims are, but uh, it would make sense with what I've seen. Um, the first one is water dowsing, and uh, water dowsing is a practice where you take a, a stick and uh, you go out and you look for uh, underground water. And uh, typically, uh, the old folks that did the water dowsing in uh, my area were quite a bit older than me. And when I remember uh, first seeing this, I was either eight or nine years old, and uh, the people that were doing this were in their... Uh, 60s and 70s and uh, typically they'd go out and they would uh, douse an area to look for uh, underground water and they would uh, do that so they could plant gardens and uh, or plant orchards or fruit trees and uh, I got a couple sticks here that I cut kind of in their fashion that I'm going to show you guys kind of talk to you about it a little bit um, <clears throat> Normally, they would either use a willow Y branch or a, a Y branch from a uh, fruit tree, and it really didn't matter uh, what kind of fruit tree. And I had other people uh, tell me that it didn't matter at all what kind of uh, branch uh, it was, no matter what tree it was from, as long as it was a young um, green stick, it would uh, work. And I got a couple here. This one's cut from a box elder sharpened to a point on one end and then this one's from an apple tree and what they would do is is they would take these sticks and they would hold them in their hands palms up just like this and uh, they wouldn't grip them in any way shape or form and they would hold them out in front of themselves like this and they would walk around and uh, some of the dowsers the sticks would go up and some of them the sticks would go down and that would indicate that there was underground water and i always thought that that was kind of a a neat little thing that i witnessed when i was younger and uh, i even had a chance to try it myself a couple of times i did a little video to show you um, just a little bit kind of how it works here in my uh, own yard but uh, basically all it feels like when you're walking is it kind of feels like a fish tugging on a on a fishing pole you just got a little bit of a tug and then the stick will uh, turn and uh, like I said it's kind of an old custom it goes back to the Middle Ages from what I've read but like I said I watched a lot of uh, the old folks around here um, dows like that and uh, like I said it wasn't anything I know it's got some negative connotations but uh, the people that I seen uh, dows for water were um, good church going Christians it was just another tool that they use in their toolbox to help them survive uh, you know and uh, make their gardens grow better when they uh, looked for the uh, underground water and the um, second um, I guess folk uh, custom that uh, I heard mentioned a lot when I was a kid was the uh, blood verse and uh, the blood verse is uh, a bit of um, how can I say it? Faith healing, folk healing, um, and it uh, it's normally um, associated with Appalachia, but uh, there are stories uh, in the north of uh, blood stopping as well, and that's what the blood verse did, is if somebody or a person or an animal got hurt, um, they would read the blood verse out of the Bible, and that was supposed to stop um, bleeding. And uh, the blood verse is actually in the 16th chapter of Ezekiel, um, and it's the 6th verse. And there were different ways that people uh, said that the blood verse was read, um, but there was always, it seemed like the stories went, that there was always a couple of people in the communities, um, both around where we're at here on uh, the different farms and stuff, and then in northern Michigan in the uh, lumber camps and stuff, there'd always be someone around that knew how to use a blood verse to uh, stop bleeding. And um, 
normally as the stories would go, uh, there would be uh, somebody that was either working that got hurt or there would be like a team of horses that got injured and um, they couldn't stop the bleeding with traditional methods at the of the time so then they would either call on this person or they would go to this person later after this uh this incident or accident happened and then that person would uh use the blood verse to stop the bleeding on uh, these animals and people i'm going to actually read you the blood verse here out of my bible my glasses on here and like i said this is out of the uh, 16th uh, chapter of ezekiel and it's chapter six and uh this is how it goes. Then I passed by and I saw you kicking about in your blood. And as you lay there in your blood, I say to you, live. And that's the uh, blood verse written out of, written in, uh, I believe this is a, um, got to look here what version this is. This is a New International Version Bible. I'm sure they would have used King James Bibles because uh, the King James Bible was the probably the most popular Bible that was used around here when I was uh, growing up. But I just thought I'd take a little time today to uh, share a little bit of this uh, these folk stories and this uh, folk wisdom with you guys. thought maybe you'd uh, enjoy it for uh, entertainment purposes, and if you're interested in it, you can maybe uh, look it up because I'm sure there's a uh, bunch of information on uh, these stories uh, online and stuff. But anyway, this is Modern Refugee. I uh, appreciate you listening to my uh, stories here and experiences for the childhood today. Um, hope you got a little information, a little entertainment out of my video, and you guys have a great day.